Next, we're looking at the jump greater than or equal to. So in our jump greater than or equal to, we have our uh, address. We know that's going to be our 10C, and we could just check that in the uh, tracing chart. See right down here, we have 10C, jump greater than or equal to 114. Our operation is jump greater than or equal to, and our destination is 114. We don't have a source, though, so we don't need to list that, or we could put not available. Jump greater than or equal to is a conditional jump. That's the type. So when we look in our hand assembly chart, it's going to be in this area right here. So we do un we do jump. We do uh, we're looking for a conditional jump. So we're going to come up here, JCC. Jump of condition is met, and we're going to use the eight bit displacement for this one. So we have a zero one 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 TTN and then eight bit displacement, and then we're going to write this out here. So the zero one 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 goes up here. Now we need to find our TTN. So we can scroll up to where it lists the TTN, which um, is right here. So our conditional field test, that's TTN. For conditional field instruction, such as conditional jumps and sets on condition, the condition test is field TTN is encoded for the condition being tested for. The TTT part of the field gives the condition to test, and the N part indicates whether to use the condition N is equal to zero, or n is equal to one for one byte primary opcodes. The TTN field is located in bits 321 and zero of the opcode byte for two byte primary opcodes. TTN field is located in 3210 of the second opcode byte and the table is what we're shown below. And so how to decide which of these TTNs to use, um, we can look at what we're doing. We have a jump greater than or equal to 114. That means if we look in our tracing chart, we're gonna go from this 10C to this down here if we jump. So because the 114 is just um, a location. So when we do this jump, we know it's going to be greater than or equal to. So it's going to be this one down here. This 1101, not less than, greater than or equal to. So that is going to be our TTN. So we're going to write this right here. And then we have our 8-bit displacement. So we have 7 and then we have the D. That makes sense. For the 8-bit displacement, what we're going to do is we're going to take our current location that we're jumping to. So we're jumping to 114. And then we are going to subtract it from the location we're currently at, which is our 10C. And then we subtract our instruction size. Notice that we go from 10A to 10C. And so that is going to give us a value of 2. In fact, if we do this here, I'll clear this. We have 114 minus our 10C. It's going to give us 8. And we know our instruction size is going to be two for the jump greater than or equal to. And we can see that we've just gone to here. And so that means we're just going to subtract two. That gives us a value of six. So our eight dis bit displacement is going to be the six. I believe this should be up here. So we have this 06H and that's going to translate into a six right here. And that's all for our jump.